Hey everyone, we just had a brand new calendar drop for Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, so let's take a look and see what we've got coming this month in Fey. Well, the rest of July slash the beginning of August. Uh, which of course encompasses three houses and I haven't actually looked at this yet. So this is kind of a blind oversee. So I'm excited to see what we have. Um, Reminder, there is a contest going on in the uh, link in the description. It's on Twitter, not on YouTube. Giveaways on YouTube are a terrible idea uh, for <laughs> for community guideline strikes and whatnot. Uh, so if you want to check that out, feel free to. I'm giving away a copy of the Seasons of Warfare edition uh, of the game, and then also just a standard version of the game, and then some other stuff as well. Uh, certain policies apply based on where you live and stuff like that. Just check it out if you're interested in that. Won't bore you otherwise. All right, let's see what we have going on uh, with this. So first up, Tempest Trials, Lessons Learned. I am super excited about this because we get oh, that goddess right there. And uh, I'm very happy that uh, she will be in the game. <laughs> I'll talk about that later for sure. Um... Losery Dungeon is uh, wrapping up pretty soon. Rooker Siege, uh, that one is coming on the 16th, very, very soon. Uh, and then we've also got a Morgan and Morgan Battle Hero Battle. All the Morgan love. Uh, so that'll, I'm sure, we'll have a uh, somebody focus on that. We sure do. So if you haven't had a Morgan, you want another male Morgan, you want another female, eh, your options are there. That's definitely going to happen for you. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Summoning focus for the Tempest Trials Plus. Uh, nothing too surprising there. That's already ongoing. Um, special orb promo. It's there if you want. <laughs> if you want it. Uh, summoning focus new power. That, of course, is the summoning banner that focuses on the units that just got uh, new preferred weapons and things like that. Um, no, no, I'm sure everyone's just so excited to try and pull another Luke. Um, so that is, of course, <laughs> that is, of course, an option for you if you're interested in that. Uh, summer Refreshes, of course, is the main summer banner that is new that is going on right now. Uh, that gets cut off along with the um, uh, the other summer banner that's ongoing right now. So all of that stuff is happening right now. Everything on the left hand we pretty much know about already. Uh, of course, Elysian Summer. Um, that's going to be ending soon. I'm trying to see if we're getting a revival for the other summer banners, and I don't see them. Unless I'm missing them. Ignis, New Power, Summer Returns, Summer Refreshes. Uh, where is the book one? I don't see I don't see Norian Summer. Which is interesting. Unless I'm missing it. Unless I'm missing it, but I don't think I'm missing it. I don't see it anywhere on here. It would be green, of course. Um, I do see Summer Returns. I see Summer's Arrival. I see Elysian Summer. I do not see Norian Summer. Interesting. All right, well, if I missed it, uh, let me know in the comments, but I don't see that it's on here. I'm sure it probably is on there. It's, it's maybe just an oversight uh, because it would be weird that they wouldn't bring that one back. Um, but either way, that will uh, that'll probably be returning semi-soon uh, for sure. All right. The things that we have been waiting for, my friends. Uh, so earlier in the month, I made a prediction we'd be seeing the new... Uh, new Heroes banner that would uh, inevitably be uh, focused on the Three Houses units. Uh, we later found out that we'd be getting a free mail Byleth uh, if we ordered the game or had the game and registered the game. Which, by the way, if you're worried about that, don't worry. Uh, I will have a video explaining how to go and make sure that you redeem your coins properly so that you do get mail Byleth. Uh, so if you're concerned about that, don't worry. Just head on back when the time is right. You can check it out. Um, I got you back on that. I know it can be a little confusing with that stuff. Um, but I said, you know, we'd probably be looking around the 22nd for that one. It's a Monday. It's about a week out before the game comes out. Lo and behold, my friends, we have a new Hero Summoning event on July 22nd. 
that is definitely the Three Houses banner. Uh, and I also said that we probably have a Forging Bonds event with it. And looky there, looky there, we have a Forging Bonds event. So uh, not only are we getting Three Houses units in the game about a week out beforehand, we're also going to be able to learn a little bit about them through the Forging Bonds event, which is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that, and you technically kind of get like a free mail violet if you ordered the game. Um, so that'll be fun, I bet. I bet Phoenix Master would make a free-to-play guide with that. Because it's kind of free-to-play, right? Unless you don't care about three houses. But you'd be crazy not to care about three houses, right? No, no. Anyway, if you win my giveaway and get a mail violet, then it's definitely free-to-play, because you didn't actually buy the game either. <laughs> Sorry, shameless plug. Anyway. Uh, so voting go or, uh, forging bonds and new hero summoning event that is definitely happening um, Heroes with close defense skills that one's gonna be kind of curious. I bet grand conquest is coming back Oh my goodness all kinds of stuff happening Coliseum quests. That's a thing uh, Which by the way if you missed it we had Corrin Quests with hero spotlight quests. That was kind of strange uh, mythic hero battle Mythic Hero Battle, which means we're getting a brand new Mythic Hero. Um, I do have an idea of who that is. I'll be putting out a video on that uh, soon-ish. Um, so if you want to find out who I think that'll be, uh, I think it's a pretty pretty clear indication as to who it's going to be. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll talk about that later. Um, so Mythic Hero Summoning Event, of course, we kind of already know who's going to be on that banner as well. Uh, voting Gauntlet. No context, just Voting Gauntlet. Last one was a headband warfare, so I don't... This is a weird theme. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to get this time around. Um, and then a new illusory dungeon, Grand Hero Battle, uh, moving on into the beginning of August. Uh, and then, of course, like I had been saying, they, they kind of flip-flopped the, uh, the, the new Heroes banner and then the Special Heroes banner this month. Um, typically, we have the new heroes in the beginning of the month and the special heroes at the end of the month. Um, and I, what they did was I kind of assumed um, that what they did was they, they swapped the new heroes towards the end of the month to coincide with Three Houses coming out because it was going to be a Three Houses based banner. Uh, that's pretty much what happened, all but confirmed at this point. Uh, because we do have a new heroes summoning event happening on the 8th. Uh, or uh, seventh, rather, eighth for me, I think technically, but um, seventh uh, of August. So we'll be having that new orb promos kicking off around that time too. Uh, Savage blow, Savage blow. Uh, that'll be around. I don't know what I don't know what heroes have that besides Camilla, maybe. Uh, <laughs> but that'll be a thing. Um, so a lot of cool stuff kind of happening right towards the end of the month, right beginning of the month. Um, I think everybody's probably mostly preoccupied just with Three Houses Banner. Fam, I don't blame you. Uh, it's going to be insane. I'm mainly curious to see what's going to happen with this new hero set that we're getting on the 7th of August. Um, because I, I almost feel like, and I don't know if I want them to do this just because it might be like fatigue setting in. Um, but... I feel like they might do a part two Three Houses banner. Uh, that's just my initial hunch. And I'm, I'm a little bit worried, like I said, because I don't want people to get fatigued. Um, I do like it when the units in the games get spaced out a little bit. <laughs> New mystery and uh, genealogy, of course, uh, not included. Because <laughs> we haven't had a New Heroes banner on those guys in, in a very long while. Um, so maybe a little little less fatigue in that particular area, but uh, I hope they don't just like bombard us with a bunch of three houses units right off the bat. Um, I'd like them to pace it out a little bit. Maybe get another one in like September, like after after the the, the Jusha Legends banner. After that, <laughs> probably not because uh, they want our our orbs and our money. But um, yeah, this is the month. This looks good. Uh, nicely evenly paced, by the way. Because, like, I don't know about you guys, but I am probably going to be playing the game most of the time. Uh, so I will be in uh, what I like to call auto mode, where I just kind of auto play and do my daily logins and stuff like that. Uh, when I got other stuff going on, like there's a Lost event or something like that happening, 
Um, but it's definitely three houses. I am ready to sink my teeth into that game. Uh, there's a lot of gameplay, I guess. There's like uh, oodles and oodles of hours uh, to sink into it. And uh, we will be streaming it at some point, probably on the Saturday that it launches over here. Um, so if you don't want to miss that, you don't want to miss out on the contest, you don't want to miss out on getting free Byleth, all that stuff, be sure to subscribe to the channel, or at least, you know, make your way back, bookmark it or something, I don't know if people do that anymore, I don't know, ring the bell, that's another thing, I don't know what YouTube wants from me at this point, um, but that's what we got going on right now. Friends, now is the time, let me know what you are most excited for coming up in this month-ish of... <laughs> The next 30-ish days of Fae, what are you most excited for? Um, I'm definitely, definitely pumped about the Forging Bonds and the new Hero Summoning event. Um, yes, and maybe the Mythic Hero. Because I think I know who that is. So anyway, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to check out the contest in the link in the description. Uh, and that's it for right now. So, uh, thank you again for watching. And I will catch you next time.